Son of Cutlass of Man B. You always got Esau trying to correct. He don't know a motherfucking thing. He with a smile, with a smile, looks like he he always peace, peace, love, and prosperity. Yup, and that's Yo, why this man, place of love, prosperity, respect is gonna be destroyed because there gonna be no respect in the time of Jacob Trouble. And we're gonna see a lot of you even Edomites bug the fuck out out of here like this Duck Duck Goose. It's gonna right. be like SpongeBob when he couldn't remember his fucking name and they were all going inside his mind, going different directions. Go ahead and get the scriptures out. Go ahead and get the scriptures out, man. It says, This shall, t- this shall too be in the field. And one shall shall be taken, and the other shall be left. What I did? You, do you know that that's? We're going to rain fest. Yeah, we don't deal with that. We don't deal with rain. And yet. she has the star. Hold on. I'm the star of David. I'm Jewish. There is no star of David. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're a damn heathen. Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Mahawakodash Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the Spirit and power Yahweh Bashim Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Irazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much in this lesson, um, I don't have a title, but I will come up with one when I upload it. And uh, we were at camp this past Saturday, and this woman comes up, and she has, you know, at first she came throwing up the Baphomet and all this weird stuff. And I guess she was really trying to show us what she had on her hand. And when I looked, she had the um, the so-called Star of David. And she said that she was Jewish, which there is no such thing as the Star of David. I've done videos on it previously many times. And we're going to bring this out through the Spirit. You know, there is no Star of David. And she says she's Jewish. That word ish means like. You're not an Israelite. All right. The, the people of today that claim that they are the true the jews all right they're not you so-called white people are not the true jews the true israelites are negroes all right those are the true jews the true jews are the are the, are the so-called negroes all right because that word jew is short for judah so when you say you jewish it means you're like you're not a, you're not a jew but you're like one that word ish means like so we're going to get some scriptures and then we're going to go into the secular history this is just going to be a quick hit for edification purposes out there if you are an israelite if you're a so-called negro hispanic Native american indian and you come across this video and you wearing the star of david you need to get rid of it because there is no star of david and for those of you that want to know what the star of david look like a so-called star of david which there's no such thing as a star of david but um, that's what Esau titles it as the star of David. It looks like this. Give me an example. It looks like this. You see that? You see that? There is no star of David. There is no star of David. So let's get some scriptures and then we're going to get, um, you know, go into the secular history. Lord willingness, that's is edifying. This is Acts 7 and 43. It says, yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch. So that this, this damn symbol right here. That's a worship of Moloch. There is no star of David. That six-pointed star is the star of Remphan. That's an idol. Worshiping Baal. That's a that's an idol. That's not a symbol of the of, of Israel. That's not. It says, Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch, the star of your god Remphan. Remphan. That's the worship of Moloch. When you wear that star of David, you call it the star of David, the so-called star of David, all right, which there's no such thing as star, the star of David. If you're wearing that star, that six-pointed star, that is the worship of Moloch. That is idolatry. If you are Jake that disagrees with my video, listen carefully. If you disagree in this video, do not comment on my comment board. Go watch another group. Go watch another group. Go watch another group. Go watch another group. I'm not going to respond to you. You get to try to go into 
what each point of the star means. He's got Jake's that's doing that. The six point star, no, it is, it is this, there is a star of David. This point, the first point at the top means da, and the second is ga and ba. No, you bugged out. There is no star of David. Don't, don't come on my channel with that. If you believe in the star of David, do not watch this video. Do not watch this video. This is for the sincere brothers. Acts 7 and 43. It says, Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch, which is that six pointed star, man, and the star of your god Remphan, that six pointed star. It says, Figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. And that's the worship of Moloch. This, this right here, this is the worship of Moloch. If you disagree, if you're an Israelite that wear this symbol, you may be a Sakari, you may be in um, House uh, HOI, or you may be in another Israelite group that wears this symbol here. Do not watch this video. Do not watch this video. Continue following your leaders, and hopefully that will grant you salvation, which is not, because this shit is not going to grant you salvation. This is going to cause you to be destroyed. But I am not doing no debates. I'm not going back and forth with you guys. If you do not believe in what I'm teaching or what I'm saying, you don't have the same doctrine as I do, do not watch my video. Don't watch my video. I'm just giving that out, giving it out, giving it out, because you got Jakes that be trying to go back and forth with people. Ain't nobody got time for that shit, man. Go work out your salvation. Amos 5 and 25. It says, Have ye offered unto me sacrifices of offerings in the wilderness 40 years O house of israel verse 26 but ye have borne the tabernacle of your of of your moloch and tuning your images the star of your god which ye made unto yourselves and that's an idol that this is an idol right here there is no star of david there is no star of david there is no star of david you got jakes out there saying that it's a pomegranate flower that's false doctrine all right that's false doctrine as well there is no star of David. I repeat, there is no star of David. If you believe in this, you believe there's a star of David and you have one, you have a necklace and you're against the doctrine that I'm teaching. Do not watch this video. Do not watch this video. You have a different doctrine. I'm not going to do no debates with you. I'm doing a lesson to work out my salvation. You doing it for vainglory purposes and you're going to be destroyed. Now, this is the secular history on this. And you can look this up. Any Hebrew Israelite dude out there that's wearing a Star of David, look this information up. That's the thing. You guys got to look up stuff. This is in 740 AD. You could type him in. His name is Kangen Bulan. This is how the Ashkenazi, so-called Ashkenazi Jews, there's no such thing as an Ashkenazi Jew, the Sindhartic Jews, there's no such thing as a Sindhartic Jew or Ashkenazi Jew. But this is how they establish their religion. Judaism is... is 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 a is, is a man-made religion. It is, it is established by the Khazars, who are those Amalekites, those Edomites. Yeah, those Edomites, right? Though they're the first grandson of Esau, which is Amalek. That's this is their shit. Judaism. Now, when I say Judaism, I'm talking about the religion. Judaism is 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 a man-made religion. It's man-made. It's not. It's not. They're not any. They have nothing to do with the Israelites. They have nothing to do with the Israelites. They speak Yiddish. They don't even speak the Lashon Kodesh. They speak Yiddish. The Yiddish got Greek mythology in it. It's not even true Hebrew. Let's read this. This is for proof. It says, "I am I am King Bulan, the cause the king of Khazaria, a land locked between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, today occupied by by uh George, by Georgia, but also reaches into Russia." It says Portland, Latin, Latinia, Hungary, and Romania. In 740 AD, you can look this up. In 740 AD, my Khazarian people felt vulnerable as we had Muslims on one side and Christians on the other side. It says, and thus... Constantly feared attack from either side. My people, talking about the, the Edomites, the, the, the Amalekites, right? It says, it says, my people were pagan, which made us ripe for invasion. They were pagan. They were in paganism. That's what Esau brought here, the paganism shit, right? Celebrating ho holidays, right? Celebrating these wicked holidays. That's all paganism. 
that goes back to the Edomites. It says, which made us ripe for invasion by those who wish to convert us. If we convert to Islam, we would risk attack by the Christians. And if we were to convert to Christianity, we would risk attack by the Muslims. So this is why, this is how Judaism, the religion of Judaism was established. Religion, the false religion. Because we have a religion too, which is the pure religion, which is in the scriptures. We keep the law, statutes, and commandments, right? We do three videos a day. We go out to the highways and byways fishing for the lake. We have the faith. We believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. We keep the Sabbath days, right? We keep our high holy days, the Sabbath days, the high, which is a high holy day, our whole high holy days. Right? That's our religion. We have a religion. We have a pure religion, though. Christianity, uh, Islam, Muslim doctrine, right? That's all false religions. Those are false religions. Those are false religions. Me being a Hebrew Israelite, that's a pure religion. Because we don't worship uh, the one who they uh, call, because um, they call, um, I would be careful what I say, they worship Sejre Borgia. They call it Jesus Christ. We don't, the Messiah's name ain't Jesus. His name is Hamashiach Yahushai. So we worship the Messiah, but we call him by his true name. Jesus is not the name of the Lord. That white image that's on those patents on those walls, that's not the Messiah. That's Sejre Borgia. Christianity is through. You guys worship a false deity. You guys worship a false deity. His name is Yahushai Hamashiach, not Jesus Christ. Let's continue. It says, I, it says, I came up with a genius idea. This is what Kagan Bulan said. I came up with a with a genius idea. We all convert to Judaism, right? Because Jews had good relations with both Christians and Muslims. It says the the predominantly in matters of trade, our race, talking about the Khazars, the Edomites, the Amalekites, because that's who they are. They descend from the first grandson of Esau, the Amalekites, which are the Edomites. It says our race represents today 98% of all the Jews on the planet. See, because they're, they're, they call themselves Jews today, but they're not the true Jews. They're not the true Israelites, right? It says we have no blood connection. They have no blood connection. Yeah, because you're not an Israelite. Now, you're, you Edomites are, are Hebrews, but you're not Israelites, though. Because Israel is Jacob. We descend from Jacob, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. That's why we're called Israelites. Because we descend from Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. We descend from, from Jacob, which is Israel. You so-called white people come from Esau, Edom. That's where y'all come from. So y'all come from Father Abraham and Isaac, but y'all don't descend from y'all don't descend from Jacob. We descend from Jacob. You guys descend from Esau. You guys descend from Esau. Y'all descend from the first grandson of Esau, who is Amalek. That's you guys. So that woman that came by our camp and said she's Jewish, you are Edomite. You come from Amalek, which is the line of Esau. We don't come from Esau. We come from Israel, which is Jacob. We descend from Jacob. We come from the seed line of Jacob's 12 sons. That's why we're Israelites. You guys are not Israelites. Let's read again. Our race represents today 98% of all the Jews on the planet. We have no blood ties. Them, them Ashkenazi Jews, them Sephardic Jews. You guys call yourself Ashkenazis and Sephardic Jews. You say you're Jewish. You guys have no blood ties. It says we have no blood connection. No blood connection whatsoever to the Holy Land. Talking about the Israelites. You guys have no blood connection to the Israelites. When it says that Holy Land, I'm talking about Israel. Y'all have no blood ties, bloodline, blood, no, no, no blood connection or blood bloodline to the Israelites. You guys are not Israelites. You guys descend from Esau. You guys are, are Edomites, Amalekites. It says, what's, it says, we have no blood connection whatsoever to the Holy Land. Many of us speak Karzarian language of Yiddish, right? Yiddish in, 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 in Hebrew is, is, is two different things because, look, Yiddish, it has Hebrew in it, but it got Greek, it got Latin Greek in it. It got Latin Greek in it. That's why they got they got vowel points in there. Yiddish is made up. That's not the real Hebrew. The Lashawan Kodash, which is the pure tongue, the holy tongue. The Lashawan Kodash, the pure Hebrew language. We, we speak the fluent Hebrew, the pure Hebrew. Right? The ancient Paleo Hebrew. Paleo means ancient. The Paleo Hebrew. Yiddish is not the Paleo Hebrew. That's not. 
it says language of Yiddish, right? Totally different. Look at that. Look at that. This is to cut you people out there. Like that dude, Dr. Brown. This is cutting your fucking ass. Because look at this. It says many of us speak because he said that Yiddish. Talking about Yahweh and all that. That's Yiddish. It says many of us speak the Karzarian language of Yiddish. Right? Totally different. Totally different to the language of Hebrew. So you guys don't speak the Lashon Kodash. You guys don't speak Paleo Hebrew. You speak Yiddish. Yiddish is not ancient Hebrew. It's not ancient Hebrew. All right? It says it right there. It's not ancient Hebrew. Now, again, you so-called you so-called Jewish people, you call yourself Jewish, an Ashkenazi Jew, a Sadatic Jew, you guys are not Israelites. You guys descend from Amalek, the first grandson of Esau. You guys are Edomites. Let's get that. I want to get that out. We'll wrap it up with that. You so-called white people are not the Israelites. You guys are Edomites. You guys are Edomites, man. Genesis 36 and 10. You guys are Edomites. You Edomite. You're an Edomite. You're an Edomite. I'm Jewish. You are an Edomite. That word Jewish means like. You're not, a, you're not a true Jew. You speak like a Jew, but you're not a true Jew. You're not an Israelite. You're a heathen. Let's get that right here. This is Genesis 36, and I'll read up to verse 8. This is Genesis 36 and 8. I couldn't think about the precept at the time when I was at camp because I had other stuff on my mind. Genesis 36 and 8. It says, Thus dwell Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. Edom means red. You so-called white people are different shades of red. You so-called you so-called white people are different shades of red. You eat your Edomites. You guys are different shades of red. You're Edomites. You guys are the Edomites. You so-called white people are. Verse 9. And these are the generations of Esau, the so-called white man, the so-called white people. You guys are not the true Israelites. Yeah, you live in the land of Israel. That's why you call it Israeli. An Israeli is a person that lives in the state of Israel. That's that's what an Israeli is. A person that lives in the state of Israel as a citizen. That is an Israeli. And an Israelite is a person that descends from Father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We're Israelites. We descend from Father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You guys are Edomites. You do descend from Abraham. You do descend from Isaac, but not Jacob. You guys descend from Esau. You're an Edomite. You are Edomite. That's what you are. You're an Edomite. You are a fucking Edomite. This is Genesis 38, 9. It says, and these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites, which is your so-called white people, right? In Mount Seir, because that's where you guys dwell at, was ancient Mount Seir. Now, Mount Seir today is this place called America. There is an ancient Mount Seir, right, which is out in the city of Petra, the Dead Sea, right? The city of Petra, which is the Rose City. That's ancient Mount Seir, but... Mount Seir was rebuilt here in this place called America. This is modern day Mount Seir. You guys are the Edomites. That's you guys. You guys are the Edomites today. You so-called white people are. Verse 10, it says, these are the names of Esau, Esau's sons. Listen to this. These are the names of Esau's sons. It says, Eliphaz, the son of Adah, the wife of Esau. Reuel, the son of Bashemoth, the wife of Esau. Verse 11, and the sons of Ephaz, Ephaz was the son of Esau, were, were Timon, Omar, Zephu, Gotham, and Canaz. Verse 12, and Timon was concubine to Ephaz, Esau's son. See, Timna was concubine to Ephaz, Esau's son. So that's Esau's son, right? And she bare to Esau, Ephaz Amalek. You guys descend from the first grandson of Esau. You guys, you so-called white people, you descend from the first grandson of Esau. You guys are Edomites. You're not an Israelite. You are an Edomite. You are an Edomite. You are an Edomite. And when you say you're Jewish, you're saying you're not a real Jew. You ish means like. You speak like a Jew, but you don't. You guys speak Yiddish. That's totally different from the Paleo Hebrew. Yiddish got Greek, but they got Greek in it. That's where you get your U's, your V's, your vowel points. You fucking going off. That's not that's not the true Hebrew. That's not the true Hebrew. Yiddish is not the true Hebrew. That's not the ancient Hebrew. The Paleo ancient Hebrew is the Phoenician Hebrew. That's the Lasha Wan Kodash. You guys don't speak the Lasha Wan Kodash. You guys speak Yiddish. It got Greek mythology in it. That's where you got U's and V's and, and all them fucking vowel points in there. There's no vowel points in the ancient Hebrew. There's 22 letters in the Paleo Hebrew alphabet.
Let's read that again. Verse 12. And Timnah was the concubine to Ephah's Esau's son. That was his concubine. Right? And she bare to Ephah's Amalek. That's who you guys descend from. Amalek. The first grandson of Esau. You're not an Israelite. You are fucking Edomite. It says these were the sons of Adah, Esau's wife. So you so-called white people are the Edomites today. That's who you are. You different shades of red. You are an Edomite. You always want to be, you white people want to be everything. You guys want to be gladiators. You guys want to be fucking Muslims. You guys want to be Bruce Lee. You guys want to be ninjas. You guys want to be the three ninjas. You guys want to be musketeers. You guys want to be every fucking thing in the world. But what you are, you are a fucking Edomite. You're, I'm being rugged in this video. You are Edomite. You are an Edomite. That's what you are. You're an Edomite. You're not an Israelite. Stop saying you're an Israelite. You're not an Israelite. You are an Edomite. You're a heathen nation. The Lord ain't dealing with you. You are a heathen fucking nation, man. Play that video again. We're going to wrap into it with this. So, Lord willing, that's what was that a fine. And I had to bring this out again. You so-called white people are not the Israelites. You guys are Edomites. That's who you are. And there is no star of David. So Lord willing, that's what was that a fine? Till next time I say, Shalom. Let's play this clip. Took them all the way. Yep. So, so it says, so shall also the coming of the son of man be, right? Yep. Also shall the son of coming of man be. You always got Esau trying to correct. He don't know a motherfucking thing. He with a smile, right? with a smile on his face. He always he's Jesus. love and prosperity. Yep, and that's so why this place of love, prosperity, respect is going to be destroyed. Because there's going to be no respect in the time of Jacob Trouble. We're going to see a lot of you even Edomites bug the fuck out out of here like it's Duck Duck Goose. It's going right. to be like Spongebob when he couldn't remember his fucking name and they were all going inside his mind going different directions. Go ahead and get the scriptures out. Go ahead and get the scriptures out, man. It says, this shall, this shall two be in the field and one shall, shall be taken and the other shall be left. What I did? You, do you know that hey, God's... What's that? What's that? What's that? Yeah, we don't deal with that. Don't deal with if she has the star, call out. I'm Star of David. I'm the star of David. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not an Israelite. You're not an Israelite. And there is no star of David. We proved it. There's no such thing as a star of David, man. There is no star of David. There is no star of David. There is no star of David, man. So, hey, Lord Wonders, that's is that a fine? I just want to do a quick hit on that. Again, these people are going off. There is no such thing as no star of David. There is no star of David. There is no star of David. There is no star of David. If you're wearing this, you need to take it off. It is considered idolatry. And there is no star of David. That goes back to a dude named Kagan Bulan. He established that in 740 AD. That so-called, this shit right here, this symbol was established in 740 AD. That's just, these are the symbols. This is the symbol of the Khazards. This is not the symbol of the Israelites. These are symbols of the heathen nations, man. So Lord one is that so is that a fun? Till next time I say, Shalom.